morning. The topic of today's uh, discussion is eradicating poverty and promoting prosperity. This is in line with the topic of the high-level political forum for this year and the WISIS Action Line facilitators have worked together on a publication that focuses on this particular aspect. Let's listen to our WISIS Action Line facilitators and learn more about the key challenges, opportunities and trends that are featured for this year's WISIS Forum. Good morning, Hani. You are facilitating WISIS Action Lines on e-agriculture and uh, e-health with uh, FAO and WHO. Uh, what are the benefits that uh, ICTs bring to universal health care? Thank you, Jatanjali. Uh, we, we, we strongly believe that you know, ICT can really make a transformative change in the health sector, particularly in achieving the universal health coverage. It's basically, it's all about empowering, empowering people with the right information at the right time, regardless of who they are, where they are, and, and their income level. Uh, it's all about you know, making sure that they are um, uh, getting access to basic information, they know where to get the quality service, and also they get access to quality medicines. So there are a lot of, a lot of opportunities, um, also particularly when it comes to access to basic financial services and basic insurances that can really help them to mitigate uh, any kind of risk. So it's all about you know, empowering people with those types of basic services that can really help them achieve universal, um, uh, universal care. Thank you, Hani. Uh, you are facilitating this action line with uh, WHO. Unfortunately, they could not be here with us today. Um, and uh, along with FAO, you are facilitating action line e-agriculture. Of course, food, food security is very crucial for achieving the sustainable development goals. Uh, what role can ICTs play there? Yes, absolutely, Jatanjali. Again, for, for, for smallholder farmers particularly, I mean, many people are still living in rural areas and they don't have access to those types of uh, basic information, what to grow, how to deal with uh, plant diseases, how even to deal with their livelihood and how they increase their, um, their uh, income and how they kind of mitigate risks about, you know, um, uh, disasters and, and uh, climate change uh, impacts, uh, etc. So, with the power of ICT, because it has this strong outreach, now everyone has a mobile phone and, and simply on his phone he can get the right information at the right time, customized based where he is, with the right weather information, with the right alerts about disasters, etc. And also help them to better sell and buy products for his, uh, for his uh, farms. So it can really have a transformative, again, uh, change power to really change uh, the conditions of lives in, in everywhere uh, and really ensure that no one is left behind. Thank you, Hani. Uh, Bhanu facilitates the Action Line C C C7 on e-science. And uh, my question to you, Bhanu, is uh, what role does uh, e-science play in uh, eradicating poverty? Uh, in fact, uh, in order to understand this, we'll have to essentially look back. Uh, when the HLP was formed, High Level Panel was formed, and Alan J. Shrelef, uh, Sushilo Bangwang, and, uh, and Devin Cameron were, uh, were asked to put together, review MDGs, and also you know, lay a foundation for SDG. At that time itself, uh, there was a unanimous conclusion that uh, the MDG fa was failed to achieve only because the science was not uh, properly ingrained or mainstreamed in all of the uh, the effort uh, that the world put together. So that has brought a new context uh, for science and technology as well as innovation in, in, in SDGs. And if you look at uh, 2014 uh, 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 report, uh, The World That Counts, uh, in fact, uh, SDGs now is very data hungry. Uh, whether you look at, you know, also 2016 uh, Global Sustainability Development uh, uh, Report, uh, where also the context of e-science has, has been brought forward as the principal vehicle to achieve a sustainable development goal by 2030. Thank you, Bhanu. Uh, we have Preetam Malur, who is the Action Line Facilitator for C5 uh, from the International Telecommunication Union. Uh, Preetam, what role does uh, cyber security play in uh, eradicating uh, poverty and promoting prosperity? Thank you, Gitanjali. So, uh, the digital economy is obviously becoming a growing part of the overall uh, global economy. 
and that number is uh, set to just grow up, uh, go exponentially. And uh, you know, that will be a key driver for prosperity in the future. But it's also important to remember that you know, it, it will be a driver only if people have trust in its use. And as we bring the, uh, you know, the remaining billions online, when the developing countries uh, and the least developed countries uh, come online, people from uh, those countries, uh, it's important that they maintain, they retain that trust. You know, but or else without trust, you know, uh, there is nothing. Uh, and we saw that uh, the recent attacks, uh, WannaCry attacks, which affected 150 countries. Uh, so these are incidents that uh, we should all work together to, uh, you know, uh, mitigate the risks, uh, to make sure that uh, it doesn't happen or we are resilient enough to bounce back. Uh, and that's where uh, I see the value of the uh, uh, facilitation mechanism offered by Action Line C5. And I see a lot of uh, great conversations happening in uh, Visus Forum 2017 on that regard. Thank you, Preetam. Uh, we have here with us uh, David uh, from UNESCO, who facilitates the Action Line uh, C3 access. In fact, access is crucial uh, to implement any of the different action lines. Uh, David, what is your view on that? And I think it's your first time at the WISIS Forum. Uh, what do you think of it and how do you feel here? I feel great. It's, uh, it's amazing to have opportunity to exchange uh, and discuss uh, real topics, in particular concerning access. Uh, uh, we, we're now trying to uh, focus on uh, how to uh, provide the, the opportunity to everybody to participate in all the digital, uh, uh, the digital world which has been uh, this described. So uh, what, uh, what about uh, trying to provide citizens with the, the necessary skills sometimes or, the, or the, uh, even the confidence to understand the digital world. So this is really the topic that we also try to, uh, to focus here. So in practice, uh, we, are, we are trying to promote uh, this as a topic which also uh, goes per permeates into the education system, for example, so that uh, people that are not only, let's say, um, uh, using the tools that, uh, that uh, are provided, but also fully understand what does it mean to, to use tools, so they can also understand what's behind, like on topics like uh, uh, open data on topics like uh, uh, cyber security and uh, understand how uh, 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 IT is really changing their lives. This is uh, crucial when you think about uh, access for development because you go the next step, you don't uh, limit yourself to use something but you really go into uh, participating. Thank you very much. Uh, we heard from our colleagues who are facilitating the different action lines uh, within the WISIS framework and how uh, ICTs can play a crucial role in advancing the SDGs. Um, UNESCO has organized several workshops uh, at the WISIS Forum this year and uh, as you can see their uh, entire team is here and uh, they are also a co-organizer of the WISIS Forum. Um, Hara is the uh, coordinator of the uh, WISIS process at uh, UNESCO. Uh, Hara, what is the vision of UNESCO and uh, what strategy do you see uh, coming from UNESCO for implementing WISIS to achieve SDGs? Well, uh, the key word is universal access to information. If you have every citizen has access to information, it consists of two components. One is right to access the information, the platform, the ICT platform to access the information. UNESCO has very clearly defined its role and responsibility to have this universal access so that every, every citizen of the country have access and so that there is a direct link between access and er eradication of the poverty. The more access, the more transparency, no, no corruption and the more uh, visibility of the development process. So there is a clear link between universal access and also the eradication of poverty. And uh, 16, uh, SDG 16 clearly mentioned about this issue and if you have less poverty and more prosperity. So there is a clear link between UNESCO's approach objective that is universal access to information and eradication of poverty. We are working towards that, whether it's big data uh, or uh, any other issue is directly linked to access, universal access. 
Thank you, Hara. This is uh, exactly what the WISIS Forum does. It provides us with a platform to work together and to ensure that we achieve the goals that are set within our respective organizations. Uh, uh, hello, Yaroslav. Uh, you are the coordinator of the WISIS process at the uh, ITU, International Telecommunications Union. We are the host and the uh, lead organizer of the uh, WISIS Forum. Uh, so uh, what, what vision do you see from here and uh, what are the plans for next year? Even though the WISIS Forum is coordinated by the ITU, this is a real demonstration of the whole United Nations system joining together the forces in order to strengthen the implementation at different levels and also strengthening their action on the ICT component within the delivery for the Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, our reference point is the 2030 Development Agenda, which uh, clearly states that we have to work together in order and to provide uh, to the world the concrete solutions. And ITU is one of those. ICTs is not anymore the challenge. It provides the concrete uh, solutions for advancing and the sustainable development. This is the reason why we welcomed uh, uh, greatly and uh, initiatives at the regional level of all stakeholders connecting the dots and building the partnerships, creating the forums which uh, are discussing and uh, best practices and advancing the implementation and um, providing also uh, for those who are unconnected, those which are not part of the information and knowledge society, society the concrete um, solutions uh, for getting into the, our uh, society. Therefore, we are looking forward to 2018 as the uh, new opportunity for and the whole WISIS uh, stakeholder community um, to join us in Geneva or join us also remotely. Uh, just to underline, more than 100,000 stakeholders were following this event remotely uh, and they were contributing also in this uh, way to our discussions in order to uh, result with the concrete outcome of this forum to be put forward in the UN system for the further uh, decision making process. Thank you. Thank you, Yaroslav. Uh, as we have heard from the UN Action Line facilitators and from the heads of UN agencies uh, uh, earlier during the WISIS forum, uh, we stand committed as the UN system to ensure that ICTs play a crucial enabling role for the achievement of the SDGs. Thank you very much for listening in and please do visit our website www.wisis.org forum. Thank you.